In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to your iMac, which I'm on an iMac 2020 right now, but I was able to do this on my 2012 and prior iMacs and laptops, my laptop pro. All you need to do is set up your folders on a local thing. So as you can see, I've got a movies folder. Um, Macs all come with movies folder and I just create folders within those for um, various things from my uh, movies that I have downloaded that I've processed. And that's really important to do, stay in terms of service. You need to uh, transcode any movies that you own for your own use, that's that's legal. And so you can do that and change them to a format. You um, that's, that's very important. So if you have downloaded movies, that's I just recommend that. You put them in a folder. You can have other movie folders for other things. I have a YouTube business, as you know, and um, I like to create movies for that um, also. But if you want to access these folders that are on your iMac over your home network, you need to open up your sharing folder. In your sharing folder, you have uh, your, your areas. You have screen sharing. Uh, file sharing, media sharing. So I turn on file sharing. And once you do this, it has to be on. You're going to have to put in your password uh, uh, for your machine. And then you can um, select. You'll have to use the plus sign here and choose the folders on your computer. So that's the first one. And then over here, you're going to go read and write for yourself. Now, that's really important that you set the permissions here. If it's just read only, I go read and write. So it's just across the board. But you can choose all of the folders within your movie folder. And once you have this set up, you'll get this SMB um, URL, SMB colon forward slash forward slash 192. This is your local thing that you're going to plug in on your iPad in an app named Files. Files is an app on your iPad you're going to have to install. And then you plug this in and then you will get access. Okay, I'm going to now switch over to my iPad and I'm going to show you what you need to do on your iPad uh, within an app to connect to this folder. First things first, you need this Files app. Files app is what's going to connect with that server, that SMB um, uh, URL to your iMac. And you have to be on the same network, so make sure that you're on your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is turned on on your iPad or iPhone when you install this app and start using it. So you, what we're gonna do is you install this. So install the files, Apple app, so it's an authentic app, you don't gotta worry. In here, you're gonna see things down the, the left-hand side. You can close or open this if it accidentally um, closes or open up at the top, but you'll see some things. And this files app is cool because if you have iCloud, you can connect easily, more easily to your iCloud files. Um, that you're paying Apple to back up your stuff or, you know, um, what's on your iPad that you download from the internet and even Google Drive, which is really cool. If you're paying for a Google Apps for your company, you can connect to all of your Google Drive files through here. Again, you probably want to use the Google Drive app, but in this exercise, we're going to add what's known as an SMB um, URL uh, to your home network. And I've already got mine in here, but what you do is these three dots up here, they should have a plus sign or something, but you go here and you'll see uh, connect to server. So you'll go here and you'll essentially type in that yours, what your Mac says, smb colon forward forward slash 192 dot, you know, what it, whatever it is, right, um, that you're told. Fill that out and go connect and it will connect. Now, if it doesn't, Try turning on on your home network, your Wi-Fi, because you might be in the wrong Wi-Fi. If you have a different Wi-Fi, they have to be the same or you got to be on the same network. So just make sure that you're on the proper network here as your computer is. I have my LAN cable in just for this exercise. But again, you'll get it down here in the bottom. You'll be able to click on it. And as you can see, there's my movies folder. Um, there's, you know, in uh, download movies. So I've got one that I processed. I bought the Aliens movie and I can hear I've transformed it to an Air video. I can put some links in below this video to converter based software for Mac that's relatively inexpensive so that you can convert your movies and stuff like that also. So you can just click on it, tick tock, tick tock, and it will play. And you can just play the movie like that and boom, bada bing. You can even like switch, you know, flip through your movies like that and go through things. So the great thing about this uh, software is, is that. It's, it's access to all your folders. So anything that you've shared in that, your sharing drive on your Mac and you've, you've added, remember the plus sign, your, your specific folders on your Mac will be accessible here. If you're sitting at the couch, in your home office, you want access quickly. This files app is fantastic and you can have it simply in your um, uh, area there. And you can even tag, just like on your computer, you can tag that you know your movies are red, so it's most important sort of thing. So there's a lot of power to this and you can just easily have a files app. 
So I hope that helps you to understand how you can connect to your home network and use the files interchangeably while you're on your mobile device. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. But please remember to subscribe or here's two new videos to consider also watching after this one because you might like them if you like this one. Thank you very much and I'll see you in another video.